Then assemble the slide again. On the uh, extractor is uh, rounded off so you know which way it's up and down and of course you will see it in the slide if it is on the wrong way again will definitely don't work if it is just have the plate there ready to be pushed further inside there slide assembled assembled again some states that this is uh, difficult to get in place it ain't a my gun at least it's slides okay let's uh, start with the uh, mag release okay he want in there we are a bit back There it is. Okay, works. Okay, we're gonna try to assemble again once more. What was uh, wrong this time was that the uh, video recorder stopped because it wanted uh, the head to be cleaned. Okay, put the pin in. And now we're gonna try to align the pin into these holes here. And I use a plier for that. Okay, that was a bit Easy peasy when you have done it five times today. What's important is that the cam on the sear must be behind this um, um, trigger ball. Push the pin a bit out to make room for the ejector and uh, on the ejector the pin should go through the hole and this cam should be uh, on the back side of the trigger ball and we have pushed there should be room for this one Push the pin in and it found a hold immediately. Okay. Then we have the uh, uh, finger spring. These two should be on the back side of the sear and the uh, ejector. So put it inside here and make sure they come on the back side of it. There we are. The finger spring is on this place. Then this uh, end or the edge of the screwdriver goes into the hole on the finger spring. The frame down here and we push the finger spring down and slide it that way behind this notch here we have a retaining clip which hinders 
the fin spring to slide up in the slide just connect it there lay it on the place take the screwdriver and just push it down then we just put the uh, main spring and hammer strut the hammer strut doesn't have a hold like in the 1911 and isn't connected uh, or is connected to the hammer uh, by uh, this uh, notch here go uh, on the pin we hold the frame a bit upside down or sideways then we have control so we can get the mainspring place the hammer strut hardly above the uh, frame then we put the uh, hammer in and you don't connect the hammer strut to the hammer yet of course it have to be in the slot here so you see now that the hammer strut sticks out here we have this combined pin and plunger And to get this all aligned up, we have to move the uh, ejector a bit forward, and then we have to wiggle the hammer a bit. So that one fits. Where it should go? There it is. Up. It wasn't. The hammer was there. There. Slide this one in. No problem. Then we have the uh, safety. No, it doesn't. We need now to uh, connect the hammer strut to the hammer. And that's easy peasy. Just push it down and now the hammer and the hammer strut is connected I have to let the hammer all forward again because now the safety there is a small cam here and it's a small opening for a cam here just put the inside here push down the plunger Safety on and safety off. Okay, then we put on the grip plates. The slide is already assembled. Yes. Grip plates on this side. It's just cheap plastic thing
hammer, cook the hammer, push down the ejector. Okay, um, see if the cam on the, the cam, oh, the cam on the um, barrel is so that the pin here can go inside. It is. Take this one backwards until it the slide out can be put in place and see if the gun works. Whew. I think it works. Okay, that was how I do it. Not how it should be done. Thank you.